All right, guys, what's up? Back to Man Eater, and I think I said before in the video I kind of want to um, get the rest of everything in the regions we've already been to. So we got 14 more percent here, uh, 12 here, uh, and we completed this one, and then we can move on to Prosperity Sands. So right here, uh, it's gonna be mostly just license plates. Let's see if we can go ahead and hit those up. Alright, that's that one. How in the hell? See, these are the only things that work me. <sighs> Is... How can I get this? Now, obviously there's nothing... Like, you can't get on these bridges. You can't get on that scaffolding. So, you just have to, like, get your way up. Oh, okay, that's how. Yeah, that's crazy. That's just crazy to me. Alright, we got a cache right there, which I'm guessing we can only get with this Elder Grate. Um... But we also have another license plate over there. We also need to eat everything we can because we've upgraded so much stuff and now have very little. Oh. So, right here. Okay. Yep. Need to remember to ping as well. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. Alright, so... We're missing one more cache which is probably in here um one more sign and two more license plates so we only have one mark so we need to go pinging uh when we're out there
forgot to mention um, another shark movie that's actually really good is the movie Meg. It came out 2018, maybe? 2019, something like that. Um, with Jason Statham and Rain Wilson, who is Dwight from The Office. It's a really, really fun movie. The really solitary good. hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Alright, so let's go ahead grab this license plate. Oh, we don't have the other um, sign as well. Oh, I'm going, uh, going the wrong way. Oh, it's the turtle. Okay, we still don't have it, but there's all this open area, so we'll go ahead and swim near there and just start pinging a bunch. There is the last license plate, I believe. Ah. And there's the last sign. Oh wait, yeah. Stick man by the way. That's where many social movements. The annual Driftwood Man Festival purports to foster progressive change, but it's really just an excuse for hippies to flout public nudity laws. <laughs> Queen of the Wasteland. All right, and now go shores the shark returns once again to her safe haven okay so we already got all the signs we need one more box which is in this grate five more license plates one two three we only have three on the map one's probably around here oh no we have four on the map okay How did I miss this? Oh yeah, I spent a lot of time on land. That, that could be him. Oh. Alright, let's 
go ahead grab this license plate. I have a feeling it's gonna be it's definitely gonna be around here. Um, just because there's all this stuff is so close together. But I'm gonna be pinging just in case. So is this one gonna be, yes, through here I believe. Hunter surveys the scene with a of edible and semi-edible detritus. That was weird. Okay, so just two more license plates in this area. One we still need to find. So let's go ahead and swim just this way. Oh, there it is. Tourist tear. Alright, so 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. I want to check this out really quick. Because uh, that's the first place we were at. Was Crawfish Bay. And there's 10 of both things there. Now this video might not be too interesting because the first half of it is just Rising sea levels all have this, made but... once unreachable corners of the bayou accessible. There we
I guess we'll go to this. Oh, here we go. We do still have this one that's back in there, so... Those are good little pockets to get all that, uh, all those nutrients. Caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake.
no one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach, it's truly the ocean's garbage can. All right, now back up again. Make sure there's nothing we missed. Uh, oh, there is, okay. Right by this grate, actually. See, so Hammerhead, get out of here, because if you know me enough, you will die. There we go, that's what that was. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. Two more license plates. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. Ooh. Not really a gourmand. The bull shark will eat just about anything. demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. Oh, and here are the last two things. This is probably a cache, and then the other one is a license plate. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. All right, we have 100% of Crawfish Bay. Alright, 100%, 100, 100, 100, 100. Now, back to Prosperity Sands. We only have three reasons left. In combat, of course. Where is this swordfish going to fight me? Yes. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of crap. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. Really? Even in the grotto, I'm in combat, huh? Go away, swordfish. Check on here because it's. I don't know what else. But, ooh, shadow teeth. This evolution drains the blood of prey you bite, healing yourself in the process. Passive plus six percent bite damage on bite plus thirty health. That sounds pretty cool.
I can't upgrade it anymore. Oh wow, that looks crazy. But right now our bioelectric teeth do way more damage because they're tier 5 and this is only tier 3. Did we get this one? I don't know. We're still missing one more. Still have no tail and no head, but I think those are... Yeah, here's the tail and here's the head. just takes a while to get these. That's the only thing. Beach erosion can be harmful for ecosystems by changing habitat conditions for such local fauna as seals, sea turtles, birds, and fish. All right. Uh Start pinging. distant future, a young visionary entrepreneur will spot these three shells while snorkeling and revolutionize after toilet care. Otherworldly protection. While they appreciate human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom <laughs> enthused about being summoned to Port Clovis. It's Cthulhu. Oh, is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Uh, what are these ones? Seals. People. Okay. Might as well. bit this way and just make sure we get every area all the areas covered. Oh see. Look at that. Yeah let's ooh there's also one right there which probably means there's a grate over there. Unless it's on land. Point broken. There is a very real risk of drowning while surfing, but at least you'll leave behind a cool looking skeleton. Yeah. Oh. Caviar Key features painted sails, a luxury five star resort built over the remains of Tunamacha, a pre Colombian city that was once host. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Well, I got one that was not over here. Yeah, I 
figured there's gonna be something over here. Shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. All right, here's the other. Goodness. Let's see, we've got six more license plates, nine more caches, and seven more landmarks. Well, let's get everything that's near us, I guess. More glue sticks. Every summer, Fort Clovis plays host to the Megasonic Electro Carnival giving a real boost to the local MDMA industry. <laughs> the situation looks dire if the big fish doesn't find water. In games like this, I really do prefer doing it this way, you know, getting most of everything swung away. Port Clovis considered oh. removing these naval mines after the war, but the city had already spent its annual budget booking a Nickelback cover band for the 4th of July. <laughs> oh. Nickelback's not bad. They're not great anymore. Um, just because it, it is, it's a fun way to level yourself up, and then you can do the main stuff, because I don't, this to me isn't really grinding, because an entire area can, takes, you know, no more than a few minutes, you know, half an hour tops. Shopaholic. Blah, 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 late stage capitalism. Because I don't like a grind. Oh, I got another great. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Like this, do we just come right back up? Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flocks of jets. Net. 
took us out to... Okay, over here. Atlantic spadefish are the only members of the Ephipidae family to reside in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, Pulling off a successful casino heist is made even harder when you drive off the road into the ocean and drown. <laughs> All right, let's grab this and then destroy the target. Oh, here's the target. Frank and Tiki. After the end of the Tiki craze, bar owners toss their Polynesian-inspired decor into the Gulf, where their kitschy charm is completely lost on native marine life. Take your seasickness pills. Vomit can be a strong attractant for sharks. Operated by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses. No, it's true. Let's go ahead and grab some new gear as well. Got a reputation up there. The fish takes quick, evasive action. This is why having all the bone stuff really would come in handy. You'd probably just tear through the boats like they're nothing. Shark hunters may occasionally drink on the job. They know, actually, that's pretty irresponsible. to five.
splintered boats, exploded boats. These are the only boats a shark cares to see. It took weeks for our crew to earn the shark hunter's trust, to convince them we were not insurance investigators questioning their disability claims. The Hoosier Hotshot, Ensign Tyler Dixon. Shark attacks. They'll reach into their <laughs> He's got himself a shotgun. Oh, I got Tyler Dixon immediately. <laughs> the shark's reckless behavior only further incenses toward Clovis's citizens. I think that's good. Uh, let's see. We have a lot, a bunch of stuff over here. The all well, these two things, which are targets. Uh, so let's go ahead and do all that as well. Out of your misery. The hell are you? She gotta be somewhere out here. Wait, is that? Go ahead, take out this one. Make it happen. The energy expended caloric reward ratio is quite high for a bull shark considering attacking a Mako. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Only level 12, wow. Wish sewer here. It may seem odd for a barracuda to live in a sewer. Then you realize that rents in Prosperity Sands start at $2,550 for a one bedroom unit. Right. Um, I guess... I don't know, it might be a grate that we haven't been in. Oh, there's a question mark over there. Oh, that's in, uh, this one. I don't want to enter another one yet. in there. So it's probably... Oh, I think we're right next to it, actually. Oh, no. That was wrong.
that's everything over here. Now we do still have a, another hunted. A hard day's whites. Bull sharks never pass up an opportunity to knock great whites down a peg. Ooh. Great and white, huh? I am surprised they chose a uh, bull shark and not a great white, but I guess you know great whites are really used. So level twenty-five. Oh crap. Along Blanchard County's 78-mile coastline, there are 35 miles of sandy beach, only six of which aren't owned by resorts, individuals, or homeowners associations. Given the number of people who frequent the beach, it can be rationally assumed that a little human urine finds its way to the sea. Well, yeah, no doubt. Man, it's bright over here. Oh, great. Great. Humans have seen less than 5% of our oceans, which means oh. there's still plenty of treasure out there for everybody. That's for the Gulf. Thanks to powerful risk assessment software, we now know that this was a wildly idiotic place to build vacation homes. Wow, there's a lot of stuff around here. Stonehenge. When it was discovered that their Stonehenge replica was astronomically misaligned, Enraged poor Clovians threw it in the ocean. This instantized protein makes a great between meal supplement giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious masks. I'm gonna make sure I don't miss caverns like I did the last time. I was searching forever. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. She's born. The shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. The planet's great tides encircle the globe in constant motion. Is meant to be last, Prosperity so. Sands reminds us that sometimes the construction of second and third homes supersedes considerations like loss of species diversity. Rapacious rovers always searching for anything to satisfy. 
by the gluttony that is their defining trait. Predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Fostering a balanced ecosystem is a complex and multifaceted process. What harm could arise from killing a bunch of seals? Jump the shark. It's a safe bet this great white has set up in such a public area because, as a species, they just love the headline coverage. Not really a uh, fighting back. What the hell? I feel like it's this red mark over here. Yep. He like, it like flew all the way over here. was lost in its journey to the mythological dry land. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. Okay, I think that is where we're going to end it. Uh, when we come back, we're going to go ahead and finish up Prosperity Sands, probably. We have one more license plate. Not sure where it is. Um, honestly, it might just be somewhere like on one of these land areas. Um, we still do have the main missions to do. Three main ones. And then I'm sure some other stuff will pop up. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. Have a great day, and I'll see ya. Bye.